Hello there, Cancer. Let's find out what are your oracle messages from spirit. Wow. 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 Okay, Cancer. Ooh. We got something real good happening here now. There is a situation where, you know, things are lining up just right. So you could be assured of some type of spiritual rebirth that is happening or that has happened. We have the twins, conscious connections, and we've got the star card here, and also the altar of fire. Some type of brand new energy, a very potent energy is at play here that is materializing in the physical form. Uh, we have Gemini. I'm just going to put out the signs out there. Take it if you want to. Don't worry if you don't care about it. Gemini and Aquarius is coming through as well as Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer. There's going to be a new option here. If you haven't found an option <laughs> when it comes to the right connection or connections, some type of new uh, love is forming and you could be assured that this love is only going to bring you um, brightness, positivity, and there may be this thing of <clears throat> goodwill here. So the stars are lining up. You also might be um, guided to um, continue making choices that give you a sense of renewal, health, and healing. But also, you know, you're making choices here uh, when it comes to making your heart happy. So you could be assured that something here that will present itself, and it is nearing, actually, Cancer, something is nearing um, sooner than you realize when it comes to making a choice that's going to make your heart happy. And you can trust your heart when it comes to making this choice as well. We have this opportunity to run with something here. Well, I would say to form something and to nurture this. So there's going to be a lot of energy at play. Now, if you notice in the star card, she is, whether you're male or female, you're just under the star, you know, the star is there, taking in every moment of peace, tranquility, serenity, because this is, exa this is exactly where you're at or where you're headed. And there's some type of new opportunity or direction that will be made available for you. So we're not having to push or pull anything, but we are guided to make the best choices right now and to honor your feelings too, Cancer, when it comes to, you know, the right connections that you, e you want to continue with or not continue with. Let's continue on and see what else you need to know. We have Root of Air, Explore. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is coming through here. So we're at a, we're, something new is presenting itself. Now, Spirit is saying, pay attention. You may need to ask more questions or uh, wait for so, uh, some more information, but you are seeking some type of truth and knowledge. Let's get a little bit more with the uh, Root of Air here. <clears throat> We have a whole new perspective because we've taken this time to be in this process of a spiritual rebirth. And Cancer, I do feel that you would resonate with um, the reading that was done yesterday. Now I can't. Oh, the, uh, the messages someone needs now. Um, I'll make sure I put that um, video in the description box below. Let's get more about this root of air. And there is something that you're going to be exploring. And again, it will take a lot of your energy. Just, you know, not that it's a bad thing. This is excitement here. But it will require some um, of you, a, a lot of your energy here. So we have engagement, partnership, commitment. I mean, look at this. This is the lover's card, by the way, with the twins here. And that's exactly what this is. Some type of conscious connection here where... We are completing something or finding the truth or starting something brand new, you know, with an, a fresh new perspective, a new way of communicating. But you can be assured that something is happening here that's bringing you some type of eternal peace. Also, 
I am seeing these two people here <clears throat> that are on guard in a way here um, and making sure that something doesn't slip through that could be a hab habit or a pattern, uh, whether it's you or someone from the past or maybe someone for right now or, you know, someone or relationships for right now, we've got to put kind of on the uh, back burner because it is all about you. You might even be, <clears throat> excuse me, you might even be finding yourself, you know, getting a little bit more um, or gaining a little bit more attraction here as well. So a new opportunity and a new type of partnership is on the horizon. That's going to make you feel really good here. Um, I feel with this explore card though too, is when, when it, when it does come to, you know, past ones, existing ones, or the future ones, be willing to ask all the questions and get information and don't hold back here because there's something about honest and open communication. All right. What else for cancer? And the other thing that I'm seeing here too is, you know, we got this whole thing about conscious connections. And so it's like exploring, you know, something that can really ignite a perspective or enhance a perspective or vice versa, you're giving it to another here, excuse me, here, where we're really in this connected uh, conscious, right, or this conscious connection here. And it may even feel telepathic or spiritual. We do have total disruption and passion ignited. Something is going to disrupt you. <laughs> That's because, you know, there's something new here. And there is a powerful attraction at play here, okay? So I do feel a lot of you are using great discernment and exploring, you know, <clears throat> the things that you um, either want to continue or not continue. But it is something new and fresh here, okay? Okay. So we have a total disruption and passion ignited. Now, whatever is disrupting or about to disrupt your life, because it is someone here, but also you could be finding yourself powerfully going through a process of transformation <laughs> and finding yourself really being on fire about something here um, and not holding back. And this may be a brand new feeling for some of you or some of you, it's like you're getting you know, you're getting your fire back or you're getting your confidence back and then some. But I do see that we have someone here that's causing or will cause some type of disruption because it will create some type of transformation within your soul self, within your environment, within your relationship or relationships. We have the king of wands here. This is um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and also Scorpio is coming through with the Jumbi card here. It's like we're not holding back here, you know? <laughs> so great a passion is uh, awaiting here. You might find something happening too when it comes to igniting um, something profound within your own sexuality. And yes, with another here, right? <laughs> so just take that if that resonates. What else? <clears throat> Oh, look at this, the peacemaker, persistent patience. So right now you are being patient. Re just, just know cancer right now, regardless of the circumstances, you're at this position of the star card. Okay. And it may even be this energy where others may just feel like you are, you know, on a path where you know, perhaps they don't feel that they have caught up yet or you're unattainable or something has happened and that's okay, right? Don't feel bad about that. I'm not here trying to make you feel bad. I'm just telling you that there's something that there's like this, it's like the universe is wrapping you around with the cosmos. Here's a cosmos. I can't even speak right <laughs> with the cosmos, a blanket of the cosmos, a protection, because you're meant to get you used to some type of new energy. And I'm just going to put this out there. It, it could perhaps have taken a year to a year and a half, or perhaps it's going to take about a year to get used to something that is happening here. And yes, there is someone here that's going to shake and change things up. 
Someone you may even know, or perhaps you may be inspired by that has gone through a powerful transformation themselves. We have Sagittarius coming through with the peacemaker, but you're right where you need to be. Moderation really is the key no matter what right now. And that may, that may be challenging because look at this. we got the total disruption, which is the death card. <clears throat> and then you got this king of wands energy here, right? Because it's like we're not holding back. Some type of disruption is causing some type of fire. But let's see where this fire is actually going. And when I'm talking about that, I'm talking about your passion or some type of desire being ignited here. But moderation is the key. So you are getting used to some maybe a, a, a new element, new environment, new awakening, right? Because you've gone through or perhaps you're going, uh, you're currently going through the spiritual rebirth here. But this patience is having patience with yourself and what's required of you and the situation, not looking beyond what you, where you're at right now, right? Because everything you have right now is all that you need. And we are tempering things as well too, okay? Because we may be tempering fears or Maybe for some, you know, we're finding out that balance between the, the masculine, the aggression and the feminine, that the soft and the um, passive energy here, the emotional element and tempering whatever one we need to at the time, right? Because the secret right now is just to be in this place of, you know, not b feeling like you have to go to extremes. So just easy does it with things right now. <laughs> That's going to be the secret. And ask questions. Explore, right? Explore something new. What else? Take your time with it. Trust the path. We got the shaman and mother of air. Boundaries. <laughs> I was talking about that with that star card. It's like the cosmos is wrapping you, you know, in a cosmic blanket here, allowing you to feel that freedom, that nourishment, that serenity to fill you up with hope. Some of you don't lose hope, right? Because your hope is important right now. And if something has felt hopeless, well, it's going to be filled with hope. You could be assured of that. You do need to set up boundaries if you haven't already. And I feel a lot of you may already be, you know, you're doing this. You're getting like a little nudge from the heavens here to remain assertive here. What are we engaging with and what we're not engaging with? This engagement ring is, you know, letting you know that something has completed. And we're ready for some type of compliment with you here. Because you have been persistently patient. And when you're persistently patient and you're doing things right now to avoid extremes, you're creating something new. You're allowing something to solidify and get stronger and stronger. So trust the path. Heaven has put you in a place where you need to feel protected. And yes, it may feel uncomfortable at times, but this is helping you be strong here too. So it may take some discipline as well. We may need, you know, we may need to have boundaries. I mean, take this if it resonates. It may not for all of you. <clears throat> you know, with our physical and um, our physical pleasures and our sp spiritual pursuits and having boundary, you know, having some type of alignment with that. Remember, it's not about one or the other. It's just, you know, having a good balance here. But you can be assured that something uh, far more powerful is at hand here that is out of your control. But know that when you're ready, someone or information will arrive. And I do feel, you know, there may be this person here with this mother of air. You know, this could be you too, or you could be dealing with someone um, now or in the future that gives advice, you know, and maybe they are a professional at that. Maybe you are seeking out professional advice for things. But I would say 
you know, to remain emotionally detached from things or situations that pull you into some type of spiral. It will feel karmic. It'll feel like a repeating pattern or something that could just, you know, be toxic in a way. We have Taurus coming in with the shaman. So we do need to stay committed and stay on the path here. Now, if you've been praying for someone to have some type of strong connection here with for the long term, heaven is bringing that to you. What else for cancer? We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the mother of air. <clears throat> And whatever you've been um, doing up until this point, actually, Cancer, Spirit is saying that your wisdom, your skills, the truth that you hold is required right now. This situation is, require, is requiring you because you know exactly what you need to do here. Taking charge, the creature of Earth, you know, maintaining some type of balance and health as well. Not stopping, but perhaps not going, you know, too crazy fast, right? Because we're using some type of skill set, an experience here. But you do have freedom. So take charge when it comes to maybe new pursuits or new things or um, perhaps some type of profound freedom when it comes to expressing yourself. Now... Some of you need to know that there is some kind of good news or some type of form of resource that may help you uh, with freedom, right? So you may get a little bit more time or you may get some money here that can help you just give more into, you know, doing something that's maybe new or different or that feels like it's inspiring you instead of like, you know, I have to, you know, like a drag, right? Dreading it. But we do have someone that may want to take charge on you, okay? And I don't know, there's something about learning and teaching and feeling really comfortable with one another. So this is, this is very innocent because we've got, um, well, not actually, this is, this is action oriented here. So I would say it starts off innocent, but you might find yourself getting into a place of a steady path here where it's like wherever you're going, you know, I'm just seeing like see the, these pentacles, which are like seeds of fortune being planted on your path here and you're trailblazing. <laughs> now, some of you, you may have the opportunity here to either change things up in your environment, maybe take some day trips or vacation or relocate here. This is the time to do that. So when you have a resource or something coming in to help you move forward, don't be afraid to take charge, especially when it leads you to, you know, doing something a little bit more free, passionate. <clears throat> okay, what else? Oh my gosh, inspired action, the root of air here. <laughs> well, here it is. Here's this brand new start. <clears throat> so here's this you know, opportunity that is formed that you can take inspired action. See, we were just talking about that. It's like you are leading the way or heaven is helping you lead the way here. I feel someone wants to take inspired action on you too. <clears throat> it's only a matter of time here before we have a little bit of a surprise <laughs> visit. <laughs> but we do have something that we are proud of and that we can move with here. Some of you have, may have already been doing enough studying or you might find yourself, <clears throat> you know, really excited about this new opportunity here because you're, you're touching it, you're feeling it, you're holding it, you're, you may even be growing it. What else? We have a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. But it is time to take charge, especially if you feel cancer, if you feel like you have been letting other things be in charge, this is a time for you to take charge. 
It's like what cancer wants to do. Not any, not what others want you to do. It's what cancer wants to do with this. <clears throat> Mother of fire. This is the uh, compliment to the father of fire. And I felt like I was, I even said the word compliment. It wasn't on here, but I thought I saw the word compliment. It was like completion and we got commitment. We have union here. So <laughs> I'm not really surprised here. There, there may be something where we just have the right compatibility here with a friend, a person, a partner, or you know, maybe uh, currently you can find your own <clears throat> you know, significant relationship going under some type of uh, transformation. But look at this, shine and rise. See, you've gone through some type of disruption. Spirit is saying, just take it easy. You're just getting used to something here. It's going to take, it'll take a while, don't worry. <laughs> but you're not meant to, you know, feel like, uh, and I don't feel that some of you are, but some of you may feel like, you know, you just don't, you can't get back up, but you are. And we have a lot more freedom too with the mother of fire here. Um, we're really not wearing other people's opinions or judgments. We are <clears throat> really in aligned and focus on those things that we want to nurture, that we want to see rise. Some of you may even have or be gifted a position with work or life that is, you know, profound and purposeful and it doesn't feel like work. But I do see heaven is bringing you some type of component in your life here because <laughs> you've gone through something very powerful here. What else? <clears throat> Wow, six of wands. I am seeing some good news here. <clears throat> Financially, with work, or being promoted perhaps. But most importantly, knowing that we're right on track and that we've got some type of victory ahead here. You could find yourself um, receiving some type of award or recognition. I mean, this could be this root of error here. <laughs> because we've been recognized for something, or finally, we've come out of some type of cycle, lesson, maybe even a battle here. And I want you to notice how the mother of fire, <clears throat> it says, shine and rise, right? And six of wands, you can see someone who's so proud of themselves here. They're meant to shine, <clears throat> they're meant to rise, they're meant to be seen. You're meant to be seen. Some of you may not like that, but hey, okay, there's another card that wants to come out with Six of Wands. We got <coughs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. <clears throat> Look at this completion. Oh my gosh, I gotta show you something that was, I wish I would have said it, but that's okay. I, I was really noticing the wreath on the uh, wand that he's holding here on the horse, right? <laughs> it's like someone is like, you know, standing out here and it's, it's it, this is the thing, it's like you have ascended here. Look at this, ancestral force. Look at your ancestors coming through. Oh my God, I'm seeing past life things happening here right now too. I'm seeing, oh my gosh, like ancient ancestors standing proud of, you know, standing behind you, around you, surrounding you, because here's the thing, Cancer, you are the star of their world. They're watching you, because yes, a lot of you feel this at a soul level. You've seen or broken some type of karmic pattern, right? You stop something. So you stop something dead in its tracks, or track or tracks, whatever, and you need to be proud of that. And this is why your ancestors, your ancient ones, your guides, your angels, they're saying, keep going. You're in a new territory that they have never even got to be in. And they want you to, you know, have fun, relax, enjoy things. Completion. This is coming out really strong about you, you know, 
having that closure, getting the closure, feeling shielded and protected, and feeling worthy of a new and invigorating experience here. Something or someone may even complete your world. And you can trust that it's heaven sent here. What else for, um, I was calling you guys Capricorn, sorry about that. I haven't done that in a while here. <laughs> what else for Cancer? Creature of water, here you are right at home too. And yes, love could be in the air. You could even just feel romantic. Doesn't mean you need to have, to have someone with you to feel romantic and expressive and fluid because you're, you're mastering something or you have mastered something. You're not letting things get to you. You're in the moment and you're in the groove and you're in the flow here. We're not doing extremes here, right? So it's like what I love about this creature of water, which is uh, so closely associated with the Knight of, Knight of Cups, <clears throat> is that we're flying above the water. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yet I feel that this creature of water, because it is called the creature of water, can dive right into that water and be just as graceful underwater as they are above water. So we've come to a place of tempering our mind, our emotions, our spirituality, perhaps our physical and our spiritual pursuits, and we've won. So just find your flow just keep moving forward because there is something here about you feeling a resurgence or some type of rekindling of your heart here and your dreams. And yes, love, because love is here. <laughs> Through a lot of this crazy energy, love is here. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Also, I feel that you um, cancers may have the opportunity if you're not doing it yet, where maybe, yes, you can give more into nutrition, fitness, and taking care of yourself in a way here that maybe we didn't have enough time or energy to do so. But implement that now, right? Don't let disruption take away from something that maybe you need to do on a consistent basis, basis to help ground you, like a sacred ritual, uh, three of pentacles, you can be assured that you are building and solidifying dreams and goals here. Pay attention to other stars that are lining up. Look at that, the three of pentacles. I'm just seeing the star card here, okay? We've got three people. So we do have other souls involved as well, but most importantly, you know, you can even trust that whatever you're doing, maybe you're teaching, maybe you're learning, Maybe you're getting to just take your damn time and do what you love, right? Because we got a little extra something here. There's a little extra boost to give you, you know, a place of peace of mind so you don't feel that you have to rush into things or rush your work or, or rush your projects or rush something. In fact, you want to pay attention to quality over quantity at this time. But you are establishing and materializing something really important for you that you're going to be really proud of. So this is a very good card that you're either doing this or you're on the track of doing something that you totally love. What else? We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the three of pentacles. Wow, this card came out. And I feel like, I feel like this card wants to say something. And then this one, we might as well just take that one too. Okay, I got to stop. I got to stop. They all just kind of want to come out. Ace of Cups. Father, uh, this was landing on the Father of Fire here. <laughs> so yeah, there is a new beginning. So, some type of great joy and fulfillment or true love and a position a lot in life or, you know, with someone here. But most importantly, we're feeling rejuvenated and renewed and nourished because you deserve this. This is what you're manifesting here. This is what's coming to you. <laughs> Yes, some of you could find yourself getting engaged and getting married or finding yourself in, you know, a commitment that you want to be committed to. 
because this this ace of cups doesn't stop flowing it's an overflow cancer pisces scorpio oh my god you're not going to believe this this is the world card. You know, this is coming out twice here because the ancestral force completion is associated with the world card here. Yeah, maybe some of you, you could be having a little hard time with closure, though, the, the fact that it's coming out twice here. So there could be this obstacle. Now, you don't need to have closure, so to speak, where someone has to give it to you. You give yourself closure. whether that's getting rid of things that remind you of something in the past or not, right? Because it really is about letting it go, feeling light, and feeling proud of yourself, okay? So some of you, you may even have like a back-to-back, -back, um, like a back-to-back -back achievement here. So there may be a great acceleration that takes place. I mean, look at this, you're flying here. So I, I, I sense this whole thing about th there's a portal that has been created specifically for you. You've entered it and you're continuing in it. It's like, this is the portal, the shaman here, heaven. Mother of air is like this guardian angel and she is directing this force. She is guiding you. Either entrance or the exit. <laughs> of your life here. But you can really be assured that you've done something significant and it's final. It's final. Now, some of you, I feel that the challenge could be that we might feel that we have to get on to the next thing. Like, it's got, oh, got to do the next thing. Yes, you can take charge, but you don't have to go too fast, right? You could take your time with something here. Let's see what these cards were. Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Wands, Nine of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. Oh, my God. Uh, we have a... Look at this. There is something about, you know, cycles and circles, getting out of those wands, and having a turn of events here. Big, happy changes are on the horizon. And yes, there's someone or something that's going to happen where it's going to require you to take action. I would say do it because there may be a random event here, a random act of someone here. Just do it <laughs> because it is some type of wish fulfillment. It's part of like what you're building here in the three of um, pentacles is part of your dream, a goal. So we are on the right path here, Cancer. There's something really strong that's happening where spirit doesn't want you to feel like you have to. Uh, I see this thing about like unwinding, right? We're unwinding the past, which may, for some, it could take a while because <laughs> depending on how long that past was around, you know, it just takes a little while. But then you're winding back up into what is really right, what really complements your heart and your soul, because the, this, this thing is, you know, this, this thing, <laughs> Mr. or Miss thing here, queen of cups is you. She's been planted permanently with a seed in her heart. This star seed that carried with you from before you were born here. And so, yes, we're making a toast to life and we're making a toast to the beginning of your new dreams being realized. And yes, a lot of you, wow, we got falling in love. We got, you know, maybe a, even a wish of a, fa um, you know, a family, some type of family and union here. Absolutely. <laughs> it's all good where you're headed. Now, does it mean... Does it mean we're not going to hit some speed bumps? No, no. But it does mean that you need to trust more on your instincts too, um, cancer, okay? I feel some of you, you're really, you're really tapping into it. You're doing something with your intuition and then, you know, listening to your instincts on when, when it's time to take action. Keep doing that. That's what you want to do here because you're really embodying um, a lot of fire and water energy right now. And so I do see the magician energy at play here too. So maybe even new goals, new dreams and visions are forming at the same time as something is being solidified from the past that you've already dreamt about, okay? We're seeing it through completion though. What else?
Some of you, not all of you. Someone, you know, that you could have dealt with could be leaving your life or exiting your life where maybe they were, um, it could have been just like all talk and no show or fickle in and out, non-committal, maybe even play, player type of energy. And that's the cycle that you're refusing, right, to be a part of. Chieftess, strength, your strength is being tested, isn't it? The past might be testing you. You know, with the total disruption, you know, the way that I'm seeing this, this is the death card, but for some reason, I kind of even get uh, tower with this. And so sometimes with that tower, you know, we could be in a place where things have really shaken up and changed and we could be questioning all kinds of things. But that's not the time to do it. That You know, it's like you may be questioning your path. You, you may even get triggered to either go back to a flight or fight resp response or people please, so to speak, or something happening. But don't, don't be tempted by that. Stay strong and stay true. You're a lot more powerful than you realize. And I know a lot of you do know how powerful you are. It's all on the inside for a lot of you. And watch out, though. <laughs> watch out. I feel that a lot of people will, will be um, pleasantly surprised by your quality of leadership, your quality of being able to withstand and weather the storms of life. And this is why heaven cannot help but want to please cancer. Because you don't give up, so why should spirit give up? Stay true here because you are been you have been more uh, than ready to take on some type of new territory in your life, but it does require some time to go in and out of perhaps, you know where we where we need if we feel overwhelmed we need to take that time to get back into feeling centered. If we need time to heal, take that time to heal. Leo is coming through with the strength uh, tested, but you could be assured that you are a lot more powerful and capable of handling the situation because you're showing up as the strength card. What else? Nope, that's it. Okay, so let's find out before we end the reading a near positive outcome for you, Cancer. A near positive outcome for cancer. Matriarch, wow, the nurt nurturing the harvest. This is the empress. You are meant to nurture the harvest. You're meant to, whether you have this or not, or feel this or not, I would say implement it and feel it because it, it's in your DNA. It's in your soul. <laughs> it's in the soul blueprint of you to have good fortune, to feel proud of yourself, to not justify yourself or the things that you do have. You're nurturing all of the good abundance in your life because you're more than capable of doing so because of your experience. And yes, a lot of you, you might question, you know, where you're at right now because things may be a little different and a little awkward, right? But that's okay. Just sit with this comfort knowing that you are meant to and designed to be this matriarch, whether you're male or female, but you're, you are abundant and you're attracting abundance. And yes, we also have a divine partner here as well. Okay. So there is a strong partnership at hand that you can trust that's stable, strong, secure. Act as if you're regal because you are. This is going to show you that you are. Wow. I just want to see what's behind her. Oh, my God. I just had to see what was behind her. I just knew it. I had this weird feeling. Oh, Cancer, I just love your reading. It's the patriarch. This is the emperor. 
oh my God, we've got the divine feminine and the divine masculine. See, I knew there's something really going on here with this mastery of you too. You're learning to temper whatever you need to temper when it comes to the masculine and the feminine because you have been through a lot of things here. And yes, some of you, you know, you may get a wish come true when it comes to either healing with uh, family members or parents or you becoming a parent's or knowing that you're far more stable and secure in life than you realize, and that you can be unapologetic when it comes to your power, your leadership. Things are stabilizing, Cancer, things are stabilizing, and you could be assured of something magnificent and coming together here. My God, this is your near future outcome. You have strong celestial forces at play. Play with them. My goodness. I, I don't even know. I, I love the powerful cards that came out for you, Cancer. So, wow. Stay strong and stay positive. Believe in yourself. The only thing that I see that could be, you know, a little bit challenging here would be that mother of air, that total disruption. Um, don't resist any changes. That's the only secret here. Give yourself closure by getting excited about feeling comfortable where you're at, okay? And what's to come. I hope that this was helpful. Love and light. Take care.